the San Francisco Giants get a huge victory against the rival Dodgers by a final score of 5-4. to four, And the Giants absolutely lit up Clayton Kershaw. This was by far one of the more satisfying games of the season, guys. It does not matter uh, what the scenario is. The Giants are always going to be playing the Dodgers tough. And this was a fun game to see, especially when you saw Kershaw in the dugout. As, you know, the Giants worked the count a lot, got a lot of pitches out of Kershaw and was able to chase him from the game in the fifth inning. And, uh, you know, it led to several runs being scored against that Dodgers bullpen. And this was a great one. And especially the kid, guys, Mauricio Dubon. He put on a show. It was a inside breaking ball from Kershaw to Mauricio Dubon. And he hits his second major league home run off of Kershaw. And he got the famous booze at Dodger Stadium so you know that was a satisfying feeling for him to have after growing up a Giants fan and you know obviously knowing what he knows about the rivalry and what it means and then also on top of that he also added a two-run single in the game and another base hit to make three hits in the game so this was a uh, Fun game all the way around. And so let's get into this, guys. Jeff Samarja got the start for your Giants in this one. Samarja, he pitched a very effective ball game, going six innings in this one, allowing five hits. He did allow three earned runs, uh, did not walk anybody, had three strikeouts, and did give up two home runs. Uh, but we do know, uh, you know, the Dodgers up and down that lineup, they have immense power. So um, of course, that's something that you are expected to see from this lineup. Now, the Giants were opposing, like we said, Clayton Kershaw. And Kershaw, he only lasts four innings in this one. Giants rough him up for seven hits. He ends up getting tagged for three earned runs. Now, when he left the game, uh, only one run had scored. But the, the bullpen after that gave up those two runs. So Kershaw's final pitching line tagged with three earned runs. He gave up three walks, uh, struck out six batters, and gave up one home run. And the big storyline also, guys, this was the shortest start in Clayton Kershaw's career versus the Giants. So, you know, that makes it all the more satisfying. I mean, I love it, guys, because, you know, throughout my lifetime, I've seen the Giants, even in down years, like 07 uh, is a year I remember fondly, but... We played the heck out of the Dodgers that year, and I think they won the division as well. So no matter how good the Dodgers are, you know the Giants come ready to play uh, when this rivalry is on the line, and it's so much fun to watch as a fan, and I, you definitely feel the energy and intensity, and it, I feel like it carries over to the field, and you, know, you get the best... Uh, out of every player on both sides so you know that makes it all the more fun as you know with sports um, what makes it so exciting is you know we don't know the outcome and that's like a lot of things in life you know you don't know the outcome or you don't know what's to happen in the future and that's kind of what makes life exciting uh, you know the unknowns and all that and you live life in the moment and that is always the goal and so, guys, let's get into the scoring of how this game played out. So the Dodgers did get on the board early in the bottom of the second inning on a A.J. Pollock solo home run. It was his 11th of the season. That made it one to nothing, Dodgers. Now, in the top of the fourth inning, Mauricio Dubon comes up clutch with that solo home run, his second of the season, second Major League home run. That would tie the game up at one. And as we go to the top of the fifth, Fifth inning, Mike Yaskrinski comes up huge with a two-run double to give the Giants a 3-1 to one lead. And, of course, those would be the final two earned runs being charged to Clayton Kershaw's record. And then later in the inning, Mauricio Dubon comes up with his very own two-run single, and that would make it 5-1 to one Giants. And that is what led to, you know, the look of Kershaw with his head down in the dugout with the Giants having two runners on and one out in the top of the fifth inning. That was a picture. I was able to save it to my phone and definitely something that I will you know, very vividly remember this game and how it played out. So, so, ex so much fun. So m excitement, guys. Oh, man. So as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, AJ Pollock would come up with his second home run of the game. 
it would be his 12th of the season. That would make it 5-2 to two Giants. And then in the bottom of the sixth inning, Cody Bellinger comes up with an RBI single. That would cut the Giants' lead to 5-3. to three. And then in the bottom of the ninth inning, oh my gosh, A.J. Pollock again, guys. His third home run of the game, his 13th of the season. That made it a one-run ball game at 5-4. to four. Uh, But Will Smith would get the job done and close the door on the Dodgers. And the Giants get the huge victory. What a win. And they stay alive in the playoff race, guys. Even if for what it is, being seven, eight games back, anything can happen. You know, it's going to take them miracle type of scenario the Giants winning out and teams you know that they're trailing in the wild card to lose out or even just lose a, a huge chunk of their game so um, anything's possible until we're mathematically eliminated we got to keep the faith guys and so now let's get more into the offensive statistics of this game for your San Francisco Giants so we spoke of course about Mauricio Dubon his three hits in the game three RBIs hit a solo home run so what a game for the kid and then Kevin Pillar guys Superman he continues to get the job done he goes two for four in this one scoring one run uh, he did walk once and uh, his hitting now 264 on the season so what we have seen is Kevin Pillar starting to raise that average up and it's been a lot of fun to see Mike, Mike Yaskrinski, guys, he came into the game late in a pinch hit scenario and came up big with a go-ahead two-run double in that top of the fifth inning. So he goes one for two in this one, guys, scoring one run. Of course, the two RBIs, he is hitting 269. And again, just like him, he has been getting that average up. He was hitting at 1.229 on the year, so that's a 40 point up on his average and Yaskrinski has just been so much fun to watch with 19 home runs on his rookie season so he is in line to get his 20th home run and that would be a huge accomplishment you know for your rookie season and so now let's get into the bullpen pitching statistics of this game for your San Francisco Giants. So following those six innings, impressive by Jeff Samarja, uh, Tyler Rogers, the submarine arm who throws very funky out there, really exciting to watch if you have not had a chance to see Tyler Rogers. So he goes one inning and this one does not give up a hit or an earned run, does walk a batter and strikes out two. He has got a very impressive 1.35 ERA on the season. And then Fernando Abad would come in after him, guys, pitching two-thirds of an inning. Uh, did not give up a hit or an earned run. Did not walk anybody. Struck out one. He has got a 3.52 ERA on the season. And then Gustave pitches a third of an inning. Uh, does not give up a hit or an earned run or a walk he has got a 1.96 era on the season and of course will smitty shutting the door down would give up an earned run though in the ninth inning uh, but goes one inning allowing the one hit on the home run and also walks a batter but gets two strikeouts in the inning and will smith with a very impressive era of three on the season and just continuing to be a lights out closer and so, guys, let's look ahead to the future, to the San Francisco Giants' next game in the series. Tyler Beatty is going to be taking the mound against Tony Gosselin of the Dodgers. So it should be a good one, and the Giants will look to win the series from the Dodgers. And so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it all the way through to the end of the video, be sure to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button and bell, guys, the dong, the bell button if you haven't done so already. If you would like to be notified when new uploads are being... I want to thank all of you guys that watch my videos. I very much appreciate all of you. And all of you that comment, I absolutely love reading your guys' comments. Uh, so comment down below. Uh, let me know you know your opinion and perspective. How exciting was the game tonight? Uh, what are your thoughts on the Giants? And, you know, the story of the season, I really think now, is to get Bruce Bochy to that elusive 2,000th victory. He definitely deserves it. And it's been so much fun, you know, in my entire lifetime 
watching Giants baseball, I have seen Bruce Bochy as Giants manager and, you know, couldn't think of, you know, many great memories over the years that I've seen and a lot of fun games to watch. So it's just been great and so much excitement. And so, guys, until next time, I will see you again. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.